Why howdy there! I'm here to teach you about composite area. Come on down to my farm and let's get learning. We know how to find the area of a rectangle. It's base times height. Simple. So what happens when you have a weird shape that's two rectangles put together? Well, we can calculate the area of this rectangle. Let's call it rectangle one. Calculate the area of this rectangle. Let's call it rectangle two. And then to find the total area, we would add up the areas of rectangle one and rectangle two. Let's check out some problems and see what they would look like. Come, help me find the area of some of my vegetable plots. Here, I grow carrots. Each square represents one square foot. To calculate the area of the first rectangle, I would multiply the base times the height. So it would be five times five. That's 25. And for the second rectangle, we would do the same. Multiply the base times the height, giving us five times three, which is 15. So our last step would be to add those two areas together. 25 plus 15, and that gives us 40. So our total area is 40 square feet. Now let's look at the corn. Each of these squares are one square yard. I can break up this shape into two rectangles right here. Let's calculate the small rectangle first. Doing base times height, we get two times two, that gives us four. Now for the bigger one, we have five times four, which is 20. So to find our total, if we add four plus 20, we get 24. So our answer is 24 square yards. Now it's on to the lettuce. I can break up the plot here into two rectangles. Let's calculate the small rectangle first. Doing base times height, we get seven times two. That gives us 14. Now for the bigger one, we have 10 times four, which is 40. So to find our total, if we add 14 plus 40, we get 54. So our answer is 54 square yards. Now it's time to try some word problems. Tim replaced the carpet in his room. His room was made up two rectangular sections as shown. What is the total area of the room in square yards? Each of these squares are one square yard. I can break up this room into two rectangles right here. Let's calculate the small rectangle first. Doing base times height, we get four times two. That gives us eight. Now for the bigger one, we have seven times four, which is 28. So to find our total, we add eight plus 28 and we get 36. So our answer is 36 square yards. Now you remember what we did and have a fun time calculating area. Good luck on those questions.